Brothers and sisters in Christ, grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Gary with the Orange City Campus coming to you with a Tuesday update on May 5, 2020. I'm actually here in our campus uh, in my new office. And just a reminder there that Donna and I are back on campus now. We are not downtown. And so if you would like to get a hold of us, if you'd like to set up an appointment, please email myself, email Donna, and we'll be sure to meet you in our campus. Uh, that is a little bit secondary because what you're probably wondering is how the council meeting went on May 4 last night and what the decision is for this Sunday. Uh, very clearly, I want to tell you that we will not be physically gathering on May 10 this Sunday. We will continue to offer our services via Facebook, via YouTube, and so please check those out. Uh, be sure to subscribe so that you can be notified as well when those services start. I've attached the letter that our council has written as far as the discussion on May 4, how it went. Uh, you can read through that letter. It gives an official statement of the fact that that we will not be meeting this Sunday. It also gives a hope that we will be meeting on May 17. Now, of course, with all of the information that continues to come in for COVID-19, uh, we are rolling that out as a soft hope, so to speak. Uh, we're saying that given the information that we have, we want to be able to meet. That is a guideline, that is a destination. But if that has to be edited, we can certainly do that as well. I also want to just acknowledge that this is uh, hard information for us to receive. Uh, as a council, we grieve around the fact that we can't meet together, but we also want to be very, very wise, and we want to be thinking about who this uh, virus could affect, uh, what we could be doing if we meet together. And so taking all of the information that we have in, uh, recognizing what the community health partners are saying, recognizing what other churches are doing in both of our cities, in both of our campuses, we thought it'd be wise to take one more week and to think about May 17 as a goal date. So if you have any conversation, any questions around this, uh, then you can certainly contact myself, you can contact Pastor Jesse, and we'll do our best to talk through that with you. As we think about what it will look like when we do gather together, there are a whole list of questions that we would like to ask, that we would like to be thinking about. We've actually established uh, kind of little task forces at both campuses just to be thinking about the what ifs, uh, to be thinking about the guidelines that will need to be followed when it does come time for us to meet together. And so we'll be kind of adding to those guidelines as we go through these next couple of weeks. If you have any thoughts, if you have any suggestions, please contact me, contact Pastor Jesse, and we'll be sure to include you in those discussions as well. With all that being said, we continue to seek to follow Jesus by loving God and loving others. That does not change. You can catch our last service from past Sunday on our YouTube channel. I'll include the link here as well. Uh, we talked about 1 Peter chapter 3, and of course, that book just fits so perfectly during our current time, during our current situation. As we use that as a guideline, as we use that as a foundation, uh, keep thinking about what it looks like for you to follow Jesus by loving God and loving others during the this time. That means that you approach this thing with hope. That means you approach this thing in a positive way, knowing that there are opportunities that are afforded throughout this time that we may not have had otherwise. This is such a great time for you to give your reason for your hope, like we talked about in 1 Peter chapter 3. Understand that we are prepared with an answer for why we have this hope, and that hope is Jesus Christ. And so answer those questions with that. Answer those questions with that hope. I hope and I pray that we'll be able to see each other soon. I hope and I pray that you are safe and that you are completely secure. I hope and I pray that you are growing closer to God through this time. May that be our hope, not only here, but for the future as well. Grace and peace to you.